So today we have an OCHEM question today, and this one's asking us, name the enantiomer of the following compound. Okay, so we have our molecule right here. This is our original. Okay, and we know that the enantiomer is the non-superimposable mirror image. So we just draw the mirror to that. And this is the molecule we get right here. So this is the enantiomer, and this is what we want to solve. We want to solve this guy right here. All right? But remember, the only thing that's going to be different from the original and the enantiomer is going to be the stereochemistry. So for example, say the original um, was R, the enantiomer is going to be S. If the original was S, the enantiomer is going to be R. Um, similarly, if we had an R, R, so we had two stereocenter, it's going to be SS. And you guys can get the picture um, from there on out. Uh, so what we're going to do is we have this molecule right here, so we might as well just um, name that one. And then we'll just say the reverse of that stereochemistry is going to be the enantiomer. Because sometimes people make mistakes when they draw the mirror image, so you might as well just have what's ever on the picture right there. All right? So let's name this. So we know that this is a 6 carbon chain if we counted it. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we also know that there's a bromo. But do we know if the bromo is coming off the second carbon or the fifth carbon? You know, left to right or right to left? Well, we know we always want to label it the lowest number possible. Okay? So that's why we gave it two bromohexane. So now we just need to figure out, is it R or is it S? And whatever works for you, do that. Uh, but for me, kind of what I like to do is this technique I learned. Um, it's called the little man technique. Okay? Um, I don't know if any of you guys know this, but pretty much how it works is we have, if this guy is facing that way, so he's facing towards that molecule right there, um, and he has this left arm and he has this right arm. And so if you can imagine a normal guy, his left arm is going to be facing out of the board. Say his, the plane of the board is right in his center, his left arm is going to be out of the board. And that's why we have this long alkane chain, and his right arm is going to be into the board. And that's where we get that bromo. Okay? And so what we want to do is we want to place his body flat down um, on a piece of paper. So his left arm will be like that and his right arm will be right there. Okay? And so his left arm is that long alkane chain and his right arm was that bromo. Head was hydrogen and his foot was CH3. So now, even though it may not look like it, this is a Fischer projection. So if you know how to do the stereochemistry of Fischer projections, you'll be fine. Um, so pretty much what you do is you assign the priorities one, two, three, all right? And counterclockwise is S, clockwise is R, and since this one's counterclockwise, we know this is S. Okay? So we know that the original molecule was 2S bromohexane. So what would our the enantiomer be? Well, we know that the enantiomer has to be the reverse. Right? Because our original was S, so we know enantiomer has to be R. So we know it's 2 bromohexane. And if we see right here, B would be the right answer. Hey guys, remember to post any questions you would like us to answer in the next question of the day down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.